Good morning, Wolfpack. Good afternoon, Wolfpack. My name is Caleb Beatty. And I'm Maxwell Robinson. Today is Wednesday, April 10th, and we're here with your afternoon announcements. A fundraiser for Mr. Taylor has been made to reach 5K. Join them at COHS After Dark in support with swag and refreshments and community. It will be held on April 26th at COHS at 8 p.m. There's a registration fee of $15. Scan the QR code on screen to register and donate to Mr. Taylor's GoFundMe. Let's reach 5K at Wolfpack. The EGUSD College and Career Connections Department is happy to announce they're hosting the Summer Youth Internship again this year. This is a paid summer internship opportunity for students in 10th and 11th grade that allows students to gain hands-on experience at elementary school sites. Scan the QR code on screen to fill out an application. Sign-ups are open and will close today. Attention juniors, on April 15th to 19th, you will be participating in the California Assessment of Student Performances and Progress, or CAS for short. The CAS test results help provide valuable information on your academic progress to you and your teachers. So we highly encourage that you do your best when taking it. The program includes ELA CAT, ELA PT, Math CAT, Math PT, and Science. More information can be found in your Synergy email. Good luck, juniors. Now, let's go over to sports. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm Ethan Nguyen. And I'm Devin Steffen. And, and this, this is your, your sports update. update. To start things off in vo boys volleyball, our team is still having a bit of a rocky start with a record of a 0-7 losing streak. With them losing against Jesuit last week of a score of 0-3. In some better news, in baseball, our boys won their game against Cordova with a score of 10-5, making their record 3-14. Following that, our girls in softball are doing alright with a record of 6-8, though they unfortunately lost yesterday against PG. From there, let's talk about one of the youngest NHL players, Connor Bedard, who played for Blackhawks from North Vancouver, Canada. This guy was selected first overall and seems to have a promising start to his career. Sure does, and a person who definitely has a promising career is Jake Bates, the place kicker in the UFL playing for the Michigan Panthers, stirring some heads by, by his accuracy and insane kicking prowess. In just week one, he kicked a 64-yard 64, 64 field goal twice to submit a win, and then the following week made a 62-yard field goal. The craziest thing is that he hasn't kicked a single, uh, single time since high school. Wow. Now, something that UFC fans might get a kick out of is the up-and-coming UFC 300 event happening this Saturday at Las Vegas, being held at the T-Mobile Arena, along with a bunch of exciting fights, such as former bantamweight champion Al Jermaine Sterling versus Calvin Kater. Which is pretty cool, as Sterling is coming from the bantamweight division to fight Calvin, who is a featherweight. Not only that, but Sterling is one of 12 former or current champions who's going to be fighting this Saturday. Such as Alex Pereira, who is defending his light heavyweight champion title, against former champ Jamal Hill, or even Yan Shao Ao Nan, who is going from the strawweight title from Zhang Weili. And finally, the last uh, title fight is in the lightweight division with Justin Gaethje defending his symbolic title of BMF against former featherweight champion Max Holloway, uh, who is going to be going up to the lightweight division. All these fights look pretty exciting, and I can't wait to watch them. Me too. Well, that's all from us. He's Ethan. And he's Devin. See, See you guys, guys next week. time. Thanks for the update, guys. The girls' flag football program has officially begun. If you're interested in joining or learning more about it, check your Synergy email for, for, for more information or scan the QR code on screen. Hope to see you there. Wolfpack Performing Arts presents their spring musical of The Adams Family. Performances will take place in the Performing Arts Center on April 19th, 20th, and 26th and 27th. Friday showings are at 7 p.m. and Saturday shows will take place at 2 and 7 p.m. Tickets can be bought through wpa.ludus.com or by scanning the QR code on the screen. Hope you can mourn with us, Wolfpack. Save the date for our first ever Coachella. The event will be held on April 19th from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Entry is free and all families are welcome. However, guest passes are $5 and a VIP package will be offered. 
which includes one tote bag, one sticker, one VIP lanyard, two v free guest passes, three VIP wristbands, and more. It will go on sale this upcoming Monday. Clubs will be there to showcase games, play live music, and sell items. The student store only accepts cash, and the no privileges list will be enforced. Hope to see you there. Speaking of Sea Ocella, this studio is taking clothing donations for their first $1 uh, thrift store. If you have clothes that are not damaged and you would like to donate, drop them off in the leadership room during lunch before or after school. Clothes can be any size and any style. Now, let's go Wait. check out your fashion Back. check. What's up, Wolfpack? Welcome to Fashion Check, where we keep you all in touch with the latest fashion news and check out Seal's Fits. We're your hosts, I'm Ryan Mejia. And I'm Aaron Hendula. Let's start this off with some recent news about fashion. First off, on Vogue News, recently the Shanghai Fashion Week was hosted. With this seven-day showcase, a new Chinese style prominent during this fashion show has quickly piqued the interest of many, as designers everywhere are shocked and amazed by the sheer amount of new, up-and-coming talents, expressing creative ability capable of rivaling the work of those in the industry for decades. This new Chinese style showcase at Shanghai Fashion Week has gained momentum worldwide, but especially throughout China as this new movement encourages designers to lean into Chinese sartorial traditions in order to work to offer a singular of spin on their cultural identity. Also in China, according to the New York Times, a new social media movement has begun its nationwide widespread. This is a recent trend of workers wearing informal, comfortable clothes at formal workplaces. With this recent trend of products targeting a particular personality, many are expressing their shock and distaste for this new movement, or even going as far as labeling these hazardous outfits as gross, as it promotes fashion habits that are, in their standards, too informal for the workplace and may lead to worsening other aspects of work, such as ethics and safety. However, those participating in this new movement disagree with the claims of those who oppose it, and instead explain that many workers just want to wear whatever they want, since they're, since they're stuck sitting there. As stated by Miss Yo, an interior designer and group city in Hubei province. Seems like a fashion is a big deal in China, huh? Yeah. Now? Let's check out some of CEO's most fashionable fits. What's up, Wolfpack? This is Fashion Check. I'm your host, Mayhan Duman, and I'm here with... I'm Mara Shantz. I'm in 11th grade. And... I am Jay Narvasa, and I am also in 11th grade. What outfit do you have on right now? Uh, right now, I'm going for like more of like a winter, fall vibe. Um, I have on a leather jacket with like a beige turtleneck and a white dress. I'm also wearing some black boots. And then I have like a beanie that makes it a little bit more artsy. I have, I am very layered up right now, but I would say I'm in a midnight type uh, winter city vibe. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get everything from? The boots are from Shein. My cargos are from Tilly's. My jacket, Forever 21. The sweater vest is from World's Worst Expo. Check it out. The scarf I stole from my mom and the hat I stole from my dad. I actually thrifted this jacket from Goodwill for about like five bucks. It was really nice. Um, I got the turtleneck and the boots and the hat. They're all from Target. And no idea where the skirt came from. It appeared magically in my closet. Do you have anything you want to say to your fans? Um, I would say that nobody should be afraid of dressing how they want to dress. Whatever clothes that you wear, whether that be plain or something really eccentric, Wear whatever makes you feel most like yourself because ultimately wearing the clothes that you like is going to make you feel more confident in who you are and I think the world deserves to see that version of you. So, where would you want to wear? I would say that if you want to have a fit, don't just go in your closet and pick random things and expect to look good. If you want to fit, you got to try that out. You got to go crazy. And like the other one, other person said, don't even be afraid to wear what you want to wear. All right, thank you. Let's go back to the anchor. Well, that's all we got for you today, Wolfpack. Have a great rest of your day. I'm Caleb Beatty. And I'm Maxwell Robinson. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is a pack. Happy, Happy National, National Race Self Negativity, Negativity Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.